Party people, Tony Rowe here. We're doing a little, uh, what day is today? Sunday night silliness. Um, starting it off a little different than I usually start it off too. Uh, let's just make the, make the queen go away. I have found recently that just doing tactics before, this is not going to surprise anyone who's who's hip to chess really, that doing tactics before playing has increased my rating somewhat. So, so I am warming up with some tactics first. I actually recorded a video doing the same thing about two weeks ago and my camera was in the wrong spot and then I moved it to where it is now and then uh, once I started playing I forgot to move it and it was over uh, a couple of the squares on the board and I had to throw the, ent <laughs> the entire video out. So I'm kind of just running it back here. A little discover attack action. Some of these, the one downfall is a as a viewer is that it's not that easy for me to provide insightful commentary on very simple chess tactics. A little back rank weakness action, fork. Exploiting the pin. Take all these guys. Uh, queen b8 check perhaps and taking on b7. There's the threat of bishop c6 as well. Is there anything better? I'm going to do that. This appears to trap the queen. Winning pretty much a whole chess set. Probably this king and pawn ending is winning because c5 is hanging. Whoop. It's funny when like which like when puzzles make you stop at certain spots or not. Like with computer puzzles, sometimes they, they pick for you to stop at weird spots, and I anticipate that I'm going to have to play more moves, and then they never come. Pin to win. Win a piece to win. Not as catchy. The, I, I, I honestly have found, like, I was worried that, like, there was rating inflation. <laughs> Actually, like, my rating was going up so quickly. Um, it's not that way now because I, I had... Uh, I kind of stopped playing every day. I stopped playing as regularly, and I was not um, doing as many of these puzzle puzzles. But man, I, like my rating shot up to like twenty four thirty, twenty four fifty, something, something like literally insane for me that I, I have never seen before in my life. And uh, yeah, I was like, okay, maybe there's something to this. I also think that. Um, starting to trap my queen, isn't he? Okay, I'm just going to do this. Um, I also kind of feel like uh, with how much Lee Chess gamifies the, the, the problem sets and the, uh, the way that they work, that it's just tr tremendously helpful for me anyway. It's easy for me to log on and not pretty much give a crap about um, tactics, like when I'm when I'm studying, but the moment you attach like points or you put <laughs> you put time and stuff into it, I'm I'm all in, and I I usually care a lot, so it, it actually helps me a tremendous amount to have these things gamified a bit. And uh, yeah, what can I say? I mean, puzzle puzzle storm, puzzle racer, all of it. I'm way into it. Tell you what. Bishop F7. Tony, you dummy. Okay. Even though it's for time, I, I try. I always try and be as accurate as I can. Let's do one puzzle racer. Seven, I love six, these features. Like five, th th this four, is taking my game three, to the next level. I feel two, like just one zero. zero. Uh, okay. Especially puzzle racer. It like really stresses me out, but also I just want to crush everyone else.
What's the dang answer? Why is this so hard? Shoot! No! <laughs> no! I'm getting crushed. Everyone's getting crushed by this one guy. Oh, I can't do that. Seems good enough. A little discovery. A little win the queen action. Uh, queen f7 and then here. And then, oh, see, I can take with that one. That's faster. Pro tip. This is a mate. Bishop, very cute. Is this guy just, uh, the guy who was in first place, is he just messing with us at this point? Like, this is just insulting. Yeah, he, he finally decided, oh, time ran out, time ran out, okay. All right, let's play some. Also, let me not be an idiot. And uh, all right, when the when the thing moves back, I'll I'll uh, fix my camera. I don't know where I usually put it. Well, let's just put it here. This is fine. This is close enough. Very professional, Tony. Okay. Transnet twenty four oh nine. Really. I guess I'll go C5. I don't know if this is my favorite, but... Um, yeah, this is just a Tarish defense where he's played A3. I guess he's going to try and make it make sense by going B4. It seems fine. I don't think white is worse or anything, but I also am maybe not a huge believer in white having a tremendous advantage here or anything. I'm going to go B6, Bishop B7, and then probably at some point I'll take on C4, but I am going to wait to take on C4 until he moves the bishop somewhere. Just in case, if he wants to take back with the bishop, he would lose a move that way. I'll go here. And... Oh, of course, as soon as I start recording, my eye starts burning. I'm going to go... Uh, that would lose a queen. Queen d7, bishop f6. Womp womp. Bishop takes f6. Bishop takes h7 check. Would be very sad. Uh, maybe queen d5, actually. And then rook fd8. That's the idea. And he's going to go rook fd1. I'm going to swing this baby over to the h5 square. If I have one complaint about my position, it's that this knight on c6 doesn't really have a great home. I'm not pleased with it on the square that it's on. I don't see a great way to improve it. Antivirus pop-ups. Let's see. I have a similar problem. I really would like to go very simple rook d7, and I can't do it. can't do it because if bishop takes, bishop takes, and then here. Um, I guess I'll go rook d5. It feels kind of ridiculous, but it probably is ridiculous, but I'm going to do it anyway. I would expect him to go with maybe rook a to c1, or maybe one of the knights to the e5 square. That also makes some sense. Hope everyone's doing great. This uh, Sunday Night Silliness Special Edition is brought to you by uh, Rheingeist uh, Bubbles, which is a rosé ale, the most masculine of drinks. Not that it matters. This is a, a brewery in Cincinnati. They're about four hours away from where I live. Okay, E4, actually a very good move because I have to go all the way back and I look like an idiot. He's just going to start putting all his pieces on very reasonable squares, isn't he? Um, it is possible for me to go rook d7 now. At some point, he's going to go e5. But, okay, knight g3 is coming. That's annoying.
Actually, that's very annoying. <laughs> that's very annoying. Knight g3, queen h6, bishop c1 would trap my queen. So that stinks. And I actually have no squares other than h6. And if I have to play something like g6, that would be tremendously sad. But it, it's looking like I do. I only have 44 seconds. I thought this was a 5 plus 2 game, actually. It ain't. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This move really sucks. And so does my position. I'm not playing like my ratings 2387, I'll tell you that. My P's are just really uncoordinated. Now I've had to play this tremendously dumb move. Like, it would actually be pretty adorable for him to play bishop c1 in this position. Because then I cannot go queen h6. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just an actually a really strong move. Sad. I don't know if I have a good response to that move. Which is insane. Like what I I my queen is trapped on move 19 and 95 maybe. 95 knight g3. Yeah, I'll try it. This position isn't all that rosy for me either, but at least I'm not losing. If he goes knight e5, queen e5, I kind of am threatening the rook on a1, I guess. His position still seems better than mine, but at least I'm fighting. I only have 17 seconds, which kind of stinks. Let's do this. And let's do this. I'm very surprised that he... Like, what's happening here? This is a meltdown. Like, I've never seen a meltdown as serious as the meltdown I just witnessed. Let's go here. I'm going to go bishop d6 next. I'm hitting this rook. I actually can't believe this. Like, I, I like this seems like almost throwing <laughs> in a way. Okay, I'm going to hit both of these at the same time. Uh, I'm going to go here, both possibly threatening knight takes here, and also just maybe going something like this. I would play on if I was him too, even though he's totally busted. Okay. It's fine. I could have played knight takes e4 there, possibly. Seems drastic. I don't know if I have to actually do that. I really want to play bishop here, and then just take this guy and then play knight f4 check. That's my plan. He's trying to think if he can go bishop b2, because he wants to get in here. I'd be moderately surprised if he could. Okay, interesting choice. I will go here. He has to go back to c3, but then bishop takes, and yeah, he's in a lot of trouble here. And a four check. That's going to be death. Let's go back. Let's check here. This is winning, I think, knight g3, knight h3 winning the queen. I honestly don't even understand what just happened. We can look at that game afterwards. I cannot believe that that happened. <laughs> it's like the the luckiest game in the world. Okay. Eloso, Eloso bipolar. Okay, I get it. I get it. You're not wrong, pal. All right, we're gonna have a symmetrical English 2393. Let's get over uh, 2400. What do you guys say? 
here in the United States, we have a long weekend due to Memorial Day. Shout out to veterans. I salute you. Um, mm -hmm. Can I go here? Can I do this? This little pawn sack guy? Ah, let's try it. We'll give it a whirl. C takes d4, knight b5 is the idea. Um, looking to get into d6 or just a recapture on uh, d4 with a very reasonable position. Bishop f4 can come as well. If he plays knight takes, I'll take with the knight. If he plays bishop takes there, I would go knight b5 again. Threatening knight takes d4. If he moves the bishop instead, I get to go knight d6 check. c5, clamp down on the dark squares. <clears throat> His king's busted up. It's like probably worth a pawn, maybe. You know, anyone with, with half a brain would clean up his office before recording a video. You can see my uh, grip strength collection there. It's interesting that he's just letting me do this without really any fight. Because isn't this annoying? Or am I wrong? Um, yeah. I have a wide array of grippers here. This one is uh, rated for 78 pounds. You probably can't read that. 78, pretty easy. I don't know, why am I doing this? It's a clean close. What else do I got? 87. This is how people who train grips do it on Instagram. You gotta show that or else you're a hack. <laughs> Not bad. I haven't trained him in a long time, actually. Let's see. Uh, yeah, okay, you guys are probably bored already. Uh, I actually didn't see that move, but it's not bad. Bishop f4, I guess. If he goes queen b6, I get to take here. I, I think then, then I take on f7 with something. That's probably fine. Someone texted me. <laughs> ah, this move. Okay, that's uh, that's interesting. Anyway, I have to imagine this is still fairly good for me. I get to take on d4 with check. That's tasty. Tasty vittle. King h7 seemed appropriate. But then I get to go here. No? Queen a5 check is his idea? All right. But even still, this seems crushing, right? King g8 allowed this cube move, which I was hoping for. Didn't fall for it. So he's going to go queen a5 check. I'm just going to go king f1. And he's got to move the rook, and then I get to take on g5 for check. White seems better. Let's snap there. He's gonna go knight f5, so I'm trying to find some like constructive way to stop that. I think I might just go here. At some point I'm gonna to need to go king g2, and this also, you know. And now, now it's this knight versus this bishop, which, which seems favorable to me, but. He can go e5, it seems like a very poor move. Of course, the idea is he just wants to deflect, try and deflect my queen from f2, but okay, that's not bad, actually. Did not consider this move. I'm going to go e4. He's probably going to go bishop b7 anyway, and then I'm going to go f3, I think. Now he does have to move the queen. I'm up a pawn. Uh, he's got a backward d7 pawn. Doesn't seem like it's going to be that big of a deal because this bishop will... 
hit c6, but I am up a pawn, so. Let's do that. I'll go bishop c6. He won't go bishop c6. Okay, I'm gonna go rook d6 now. Does he have any actual threats? I don't think so. Now bishop c6, I'll gain a move, because after rook a to d1, I'll be threatening rook takes c6, exploiting this pin, so. Also, after rook a to d1, I'll be threatening knight takes e6, because rook e6, rook e6, also exploiting the pin on d8 rook. <laughs> okay, he just resigns. Oh my god. I feel like I'm not playing that well, but I am getting lucky here. All right. Uh, floor expert 54. Are you a floor expert like USCF style? Like you're age 54 and you're obviously a floor expert? I don't usually trust these systems here. You might go like e6. I'm going to castle first. Usually d5 at some moment is very annoying in these systems. So I'm just going to try that. b4. Now I'm going to go queen c2 first. Maybe. I'll probably go a5 now, though. Very sensible. I will probably go rook fd1, maybe bishop f4. Bishop f4, the point would be that I wanted to go rook a to d1 instead, which I think I'm going to do. I'm just going to try it. I don't know what the best move is here. This also stops queen e8 because of this. So, seems very reasonable. Okay, he can do that. I don't know. Maybe I bungled this. He can go f4 now. I, I feel like it's positionally not that great of a move, so... I'm not super mad that I've allowed it. I don't know. Maybe bishop f6 now? It's getting active. e5 is possible, but... I'm just gonna go knight b3. I don't know if that's the best move. I feel like his knight on c5 is actually a very reasonable piece and I'd be happy to trade it. Not sure how I feel about that move by him. Both of these captures actually sort of release the tension a little bit in my favor. I uh, recently started online dating again. <sighs> that generally, generally a shit show, though I feel like I got insanely lucky. Um, I had like, uh, uh, let's see, he's threatening knight g3, that's kind of annoying. How do I deal? Um, let's let's do this actually. Um, I think he ha he sort of has to go bishop takes g two like knight g three I doubt works, um, and then after king g two I I won't have any there there isn't the threat of like you know knight g three and then he's got this pawn my my plan is like bishop g two king takes g two f takes e six and then and then here he doesn't have to go f takes e six here I suppose you could try something else queen f six but you know I don't know.
I wanted to go queen e4, but now I'm wondering if bishop f2 is beating me up a little bit there. All right, I'm just going to go here. Maybe bishop c3, rook a to d1. Um, yeah, been online dating a little bit. It's like, I don't know if, I think this maybe is like some kind of weird observation bias where like it, I know it pisses me off and now it, it, it just was what I was noticing. But like every woman on Bumble and Hinge was like Cleveland sports and tacos. And I just like, it's, it, there's no substance in that whatsoever. It's like, I after you say that, I don't really know that much more about you than than not and it just was like a weird thing that just for whatever reason made me mad it's like tacos it like t is taco your last meal like that's fine i guess if you really love tacos to each their own but like it's not mine <laughs> it just became it just became annoying and then finally i matched with some girl didn't have tacos in her her profile or anything and then i you know i was like oh hey so and so like what do you do for fun and she goes like Without missing a beat, eat tacos and be sassy. And I just died inside. Um, all right, what am I doing here? Bishop c3, I guess. I just can't take with the queen. But I did end up like meeting a absolutely great girl. It started off kind of disastrously for me in a way because, like, one, you know, like when you, oh, that's a good move. floor expert not that bad all right let's go here i suppose if he, what if he goes e5 then though yeah okay wow well that really stinks f3 i have to go and then he's gonna go a4 at the end oh, i really hate this so much okay i'm worse for sure he's playing slower than me though so like, a4 here is just so tremendously annoying, isn't it? I'm going to go king take, so my rook still has rook d7. He doesn't. I can't really stop it, so... Um, which square do I go to? Oh, he wants to go rook f7 now. Checks out. <coughs> All right, well, here... And here, he's going to go rook f6. And then I'll go rook e7. Um, I'm going to go e5. He has rook g6. Alright, I guess I go here. I can't, I don't really want to allow h4. Basic idea. I want to go here. Yeah, too slow, man. It's increment. You can just make any move. Um, yeah, so I, you know, like, when, when you're online dating, you have to have, like, a thing. Like, you can't just be, like, you know, hey, my name is Tony. I'm 34, and, uh... I'm an engineer. No one will like you because that's not, it's not impressive. You have to have a thing. And so like one of the things I always put in my profile is like, I wrote a book, right? Because people think that's interesting. Except I never say it's a chess book until I start actually like getting to know the woman. Because like nothing kills attractiveness more than chess. That's just fact. And so... Anyway, like, I think we ended up talking for a while, and, uh, and then, like I said, it was a chess book, and then within literally, like, a minute, she's like, I found your book, and I found your YouTube videos, <laughs> which is, which is, again, if you're trying to impress a woman, most women anyway, kind of a disaster, and so I was freaking panicking, but it ended up working out. She's actually really great. Also, Coley, if you're watching this, turn it off. And stop watching my videos. Showing them to her parents. Freaking nightmare. This is interesting.
feel like I should just go here, right? G4 seems out of place. H3 seems weird. 2411. Turtle Turtle. From, from France. At some point I have knight B4. Possibly to like D3. That's interesting. Um, I'd probably play G5 if I was him. And just accept like F4 or E4 as... It, it's going to happen one way or the other. Um, okay, interesting. Okay, can't play these moves because of this. H6, presumably he's going knight e6. Let's go here, and I think I'm going to take, and then probably take this way. And do I go queen h4, or I have like a c6, makes some sense. Maybe he goes rook a to d1 in that case, though. That's kind of annoying. Let's go queen h4. Aggressive. I'm not sure what the answer is. Also, shout out to Chessable, man. Like, uh, they're putting out a lot of good content. I'm really pretty excited for some of the stuff that they're doing. I'm not necessarily, like, the biggest believer in the methodology as a whole like I don't know if I specifically benefit that much from like space repetition but just like actually having good people make good opening content is enough you know I think I'm better here um, I just need to not lose on time that's pretty much it C6 would be a reasonable move, I think. It's kind of weakening to the D6 square. Knight D4 straight away would be interesting. Knight B4 is possible. I could just swing this bro in. A lot of candidate moves. Even H5, like, is pretty tempting. Okay. So he goes there. Well, let's just go here. I'm not sure it's the best move, but I'm just going to do it. You can go queen g6 at some point as well. Um, I'm going to go rook a to e8 for that exact reason, so queen g6 no longer hits this knight. And I'm just going to go here, I think. This position strikes me as very good for black. Even a move like queen d8 is possible. And if he plays bishop takes d4, then bishop e5 becomes kind of annoying, perhaps. I guess f4. But he wants to trade the queens, he's saying. I don't know if I want to. I'm going to go here. 
and I'm gonna go here quickly because I don't have a lot of time. I probably would take on A2, honestly. I'm a greedy D-bag, but this is also compelling. Maybe here again, protect h6, just be annoying. Okay, I'll go here, threatening here. He doesn't want it, I'll take this. Oh, maybe he can uh, take on a5 now though. That is tricky. Okay, I'm gonna go here, hit this bishop, maybe try and rescue this thing. <laughs> Not as big of a fan as I was a minute ago. Uh, maybe here. All right, at least I can go here now. Nah, bro. this check now something where are you going booyah kasha all right let's do one more all right let's play a sicilian defense see what happens see this is <laughs> this is this is why i play the rubenstein at this point unbelievable this is all in my book, by the way. I think even queen d7. Sad. I don't know what the move is here, though, honestly. Uh, maybe here? I can't remember. If g3, maybe I can... Ah, okay. Well, I feel okay about this now that he's allowed e5. Knight c6 to here or here to here. Oh, this is hanging. Hate it. <laughs> okay, maybe I don't feel that good about this position. Shit. All right. Well. I can uh, discombobulate his pieces a little bit by, by playing this way. I have to watch out for bishop e5 stuff, but probably next move I'll just castle. You can go bishop c4 check. I'll go king h8. This is still under attack. I have some compensation anyway. I feel like an idiot right now. Hung f6, that's pretty bad. It's my birthday tomorrow. Big old 3-5. You can't see the grays. I'll Photoshop those out. <laughs> don't you idiot, you can't. Can you Photoshop video or is it just for pictures? I literally don't even know. Where's Anton squared me when, when you need him? I thought maybe just here. Interesting, anyway. Maybe ninety four. Yeah, that's a good move. Uh, does this work? Knight takes, knight takes, then queen takes e4. Knight takes, bishop takes, bishop takes. Yeah, all right, let's give this a whirl. A little removing the defender action. <laughs> yes! So lucky. All right, let's, let's actually take a look at some of these games. Just real quick, what was the first one I played? 
this one yeah because th th this went this went so horribly <laughs> yeah this one won this one went horribly for me but th th this game actually does display a very important facet of of chess and chess improvement is that the most important thing in chess is not blundering like you can play positionally like an idiot quite a bit and end up in worse positions and losing but the moment you blunder like the game is actually usually over you know and it's this, it's the same thing like this guy clearly outplayed me out of the opening like i like this line is hilarious and it's probably not even bad like yeah stockfish thinks it's about equal still about equal and actually white's like better after this it, it thinks and look at the look at the statistics in the database after bishop b2 like white is apparently never losing and magnus played it in 2018 Yeah, it's interesting that this ended up so poorly for me because this position I thought was solidly equal. Like, I thought I did not have any problems here, but actually this plan of going knight g3 is really annoying, it turns out. And allowing e4 was horrible, like really horrible. I mean, I, what do you do here? Queen h6 immediately. Okay. Wow. That is sad as hell. If queen h6 is the worst move, you're pretty much lost, I'm guessing. <laughs> I mean, it's like, that's pretty bad. Okay. And then, yeah, unfortunately for him, now, uh, the move order he played, which I thought bishop c1 was actually interesting, but it does allow knight e5. Yeah, and probably the best he has is just doing this and then going back to b2 here this is probably not terrible though what he played I, I think is just the worst chess move i've ever seen i mean it's just bad yeah it's really bad that's uh that's sad well weird Whew. so what was that uh uh one two three four five wins in a row pretty insane and uh yeah at case rested do some puzzle storm do some puzzle racer right before your games and uh you'll play much better and i'm back over 2400 baby that is tony rowe signing off i hope all of you guys have a great memorial day great weekend uh and uh yeah let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do these kinds of videos more i know it's been a while um also uh Points of business, I have two Alakine's defense videos. That was one of the things that was requested uh, the most, I think, in in uh, my subscriber celebration video. I, I know I haven't done anything with that. I'm well aware. Um, I think there's going to be four Alakine's defense videos total. Um, one is almost done. The other one is also almost done. I've just kind of been working on it when I have spare time, which is not that much because I've been, been online dating. Once again, turn this off. You know who you are. Um, but yeah, those will come out soon. I promise I will get to those. Um, yeah, everyone have a good weekend. Tony Rowe signing out.